You are listening and watching to a very special podcast. We are continuing more with Tilda Oxford's point of view. Enjoy! She had never said anything so awful. She can't believe it. How could Melusine say that about someone that way? Well, Selena, of course. She loved playing instruments with drums and guitars, but some people were really criticizing her so badly back when she was younger. She remembered that some people would criticize her on her choice of sound. Why in the world would you want to play such noise in your music? I must say, that must be the most loudest thing that you would ever come across. Selena's confidence went downhill. So, she never really played instruments in her music. So many people have really put her down. Well, no more. She wasn't going to work with anyone, and she wasn't going to work with the likes of someone like Tilda Oxford who thinks she's so hot and so popular, but she couldn't help but feel bad. That girl was trying to be nice, trying to show her a little appreciation, and what did she have to go? She had to go and do that. She should have just smiled and gladly said thanks, but no, she had to go and do that. But it was the only way. Putting people down was a way for her to not get hurt again. But sometimes she felt a lot guilty for what she said to Tilda. Just then, Tilda's manager, John, came in. Melosan, I never seen you this upset. What has gotten into you? Tilda is one of the best girls that I ever had, and also, she is one of the most nicest, decent people that you would ever meet. And you had to go and do that? What's the matter with you? He said. Melusine just shrugged. I don't know. But let me tell you something. That girl thinks she's so interested in me. No person is ever interested in me. They all like me because I'm hot and beautiful and I have a great singing voice and they just want to ruin my career," said Melusine in that Russian accent of hers. John sighed. Oh, come on. Not everyone's trying to use you. I'm not. Come on. I'm your friend. Of course, you are my friend, but others, they are not my friends. All they want to do is just be all smiling and pretending, but in truth, they want to steal the spotlight from me, and that's exactly what Tilda wants. But I'm not gonna give in to her. You know why? Because all she does is play that ridiculous noise of music. Now that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. John protested. How can you say that? That's what music is. It's not noise. It's just guitars and drums. That's how you have to play music. But not every music is noise. I mean, people play the piano, the flute, the violin. Why can't you put that in there? Because it's also noise when it's used for the wrong reason. A flute is not noise. John argued. Well, you know what? So what if she wants to do a collaboration with me? I don't give a damn. I work alone. Solo artist. Is that too much to ask? Melusine said. John sighed. You know, that whole paranoia thing is really getting up to you. Ever since what happened to you, that people were trying to hurt you, you gotta let that go. And you gotta maybe try to be nicer to Tilda. Seriously, what did she ever do to you? 
She's famous, that's what she is. She thinks she can just go and take my spotlight? I don't think so. She's gonna do a lot better than that. If you tell her anything else, I swear I'll kill you for that. Said Melisine. John looked at her. You wouldn't kill me, would you? John asked. Melusine felt bad. I'm sorry. You're all right. I'll try my best to be nicer. But if she ever tries anything like backstab me, she'll be sorry. Melusine said, and she sauntered away. John shook his head. I never knew this rivalry would really start a riot. John muttered to himself. Suddenly, there was a lot of cleaning to do. And Bruce and Wilhelm were pretty sick of it. We've got to get out of here, Wilhelm said. What? Captain Levi is going to kill us, Bruce said. I know that, but listen, if he ever tries to check up on us, maybe we can pretend that we're done. And then we can sneak away, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that would be great, Bruce said. Just then, a voice startled them both. What's going on in here? <laughs> Nothing. We were just, uh, uh, cleaning. Yeah, that's it. Cleaning. You were trying to escape cleaning again, weren't you? Captain Levi said. No. No, no, no. We weren't trying to escape. Bruce insisted. Don't think I don't know. Besides, Kichi is keeping tabs on what you're saying. What? You mean the blue-haired demon is keeping tabs? Wilhelm shouted. Levi looked at Wilhelm for a moment and almost striked him with the blade, but it passed him. Oops, I missed, Levi said. Yeah. Are you insane? Wilhelm called out. You might say that, Levi said. But listen, stop calling every girl you see a demon. It's getting on my nerves, Levi said. Uh, yes, uh, we're sorry. Yeah, we, we'll do better, okay? Right, Wilhelm? Bruce said. Yeah, if we can get that doing. Wilhelm muttered. Bruce then made his hand into a fist and pretended that the fist was like a hammer and pounded Wilhelm on the head. Ow! Hey! Wilhelm said. Shut up! Come on! Let's get back to work! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! And they hurried away to do more cleaning. How did I get stuck with these idiots? Levi said. Oh, yeah, they may be crazy idiots, but hey, you gotta love them for their stupidity. <laughs> Tilda said. Levi looked at her. Are you finished or are you just fooling around? Levi said. Oh, no, I'm already finished. You can tell, right? Tilda said. Fair enough. Do you have something else you need to do? Oh, that's right, my training. Um, thanks. Um, uh, stay later. Bye. Then she went away. While she was doing training, she managed to bend the water into various shapes. And while she did that, she managed to contain herself 
clearly. But lately, she hasn't been really trusting herself much. Ever since that she had to put an end to the guy that murdered her parents and ruined her sister. She was beginning not to trust herself because of the rage of the mania Mercury. She didn't know what to do and it was really making her depressed. That night, Toda was sleeping as well as everyone else. However, poor Effie could not sleep. She sneaked out of bed, but Shadow had to come with, just in case she doesn't have to get in trouble. They managed to sneak into Tilda's room, crept up to her bed, and then Effie whispered, Aunt Tilda! Aunt Tilda! Wake up! Wake up! Effie whispered. Effie, Tilda moaned. Go back to sleep. Effie pouted. I can't, Aunt Tilda. Look, it's almost dawn. It's about four in the morning, but I still can't sleep. The sky is almost awake by morning. So you know what? I'm the one awake, and so is Shadow, so I want to go and play, please. Effie said, did she have a nightmare? Tilda said. Yeah, Effie said. Well, if you want, you can come and sleep with me, if you, if you want to, she said. But I don't want to sleep. I want to play, just to get my mind off things. Why don't you two go and play? I can't. But you're so much fun, Shadow said. Then Effie had an idea. How about we play a game? That got Tilda's attention, and the three of them sneak down to the living room so nobody else can hear them. And so they did play. Tilda had to use her powers. But it was a lot of fun with her nieces. However, during the time when the two of them were playing so much, all of a sudden, Tilda thought she saw something. Hey guys, slow down, I think I saw something, she said. The girls weren't listening. Hey, Shadow, Effie. Just then, she thought she saw someone. She gasped with horror and let out a scream. That made Shadow and Effie stop. And Tilda? Effie asked. Tilda was in hysterics. No, you're supposed to be dead. What are you doing here? She cried out. Tilda, Aunt Tilda, what's wrong? Shadow said. That got everyone's attention. Lorraine came in. Girls, what did you do? What's going on? She said, Mommy, there's something wrong with Aunt Tilda. She looks pretty scared. Oh my goodness. Captain Levi! Miss Hanji Zoe! Help! Please! My sister! It's okay, sis. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Stay with me. But nobody knew what Tilda saw, but she knew what she saw. All right, that's the end of this podcast. Stay tuned for more coming your way. I'm Captain Donovan, and I'll see you next time.